I think if I was younger, I would most probably be like, stop trying to prove a point. And I've done it. I said it on one of my podcasts. Stop trying to prove to the outside world who's really not interested that you have to do this and you have to live this way and you have to do these things because I think I would have been a lot easier on myself. This is the Striving Butterfly Podcast. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am back for another installment of The Striving Butterfly. And this is a special episode because we have finally reached one year. One year of podcasting. I don't know how I did it. Hi. Oh, I think there's another mic in the house. Hello. And look who we have today day on this episode hello 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 and on this special birthday i have my very own mini me i'll let her introduce herself and i'll let her take it away you didn't tell me those introductions well (laughs) on the spot hi i'm kylo why are you waving so much um i'm 21 now She's old. Her birthday's in. I don't think we have to give all of those two. details. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. I just graduated. Well, I haven't done my graduation, but I'm finished. Woo! So that's good. And now I'm just trying to get a job and figure out life. Whilst mum wakes me up early in the morning with her video podcasts and work. You're doing too much. You're doing too much. Always. Yeah. So I'm asking my mum a load of questions. The questions are current trends around self-improvement and health, mindfulness and personal growth. They all link to mum's past projects and her Instagram page with her normal one and Striving Butterfly and then also my personal relationship with my mother. You ready? I think so. Mm. I don't know about personal relationship. I didn't remember. Moments, but okay get off <laughs> no we're not gonna do this we're not gonna do this <laughs> you ready yeah let's get this going okay the first topic is self-discipline strategies what are some of your go-to strategies for maintaining self-discipline especially on days when motivation is low Hmm. there's a lot of days when motivation is low um and a lot of people don't realize because i am always so bright and sunny um posting and sharing on instagram that it may seem like i am full of motivation but i really have to start my day right when i am not waking up in the best of moves I rely heavily, heavily, heavily on to-do lists and tasks and really breaking down what it is that I need to achieve today. I also have to just remind myself of the why. Why am I doing this? Why do I have to get up every day and go to work? Why Why am I doing this podcast? Why am I trying to better myself? What is the end goal? it's really important when you wake up and I'm just like oh I can't be asked and then I have to get a quick rethink a little shake up and be like no Colleen you've got things to do because you want to reach this end goal having my to-do list having myself in order just checking in with where I'm at where I want to be and it's also important that I check in with friends and family. So some days when I'm low and she might not realise it, I'll just come and sit on Kyla's bed because she's back home now from uni. Or I might put myself in spaces where I'll just call a friend and talk to a friend or go down the road, see my mum, take my dog out for a walk. So it is really keeping my network close and checking in with them 
and also letting them know how I feel but also just seeing what the end goal is and I don't need to literally physically see it but I go back to my calendar where I write out my goals and my planner where I've written out what it is that I want to achieve good yeah good you ready for the next one why do you want to answer that one why would I answer that one I'd I still haven't figured that one out. Okay. I'll get back to you on that one. Yeah. The to-do list don't work for me. I I forget that there and then I've already moved on to something else that I should have done before. And then I see another thing that I should have done. Then I go do that. And then, yeah. Stopwatch. So like it's a game. Yeah. Someone else try that. Let me know how that goes. Well, you just give yourself a time slot. So I want to achieve this in this amount of time. So, uh, for instance, I'm going to be on my phone for just an hour on TikTok or social media or YouTube, that stuff that you do constantly. And you set the alarm for one hour. But after the one hour, when the alarm's gone, you're like, OK, what's next? Update CV. Look for jobs. Yeah what's next oh take the dog out what's next i don't know do some shopping call a friend so you can put timers on and calendar put them in your calendar so when you break it up make it fun make it fun next question daily routines can you walk us through your daily routine how do you structure your day to maximize productivity and well-being? Well, where do I start? I start very much waking up and now I've connected the home, the Google Home pod. It's terrible. <laughs> Every morning, music, music. So hey, I... Google, do this. Hey, Google. Hey, Google. Google. <laughs> I have Alexa as well. Alexa <laughs> listens. Alexa doesn't listen. <laughs> Well, we are um, a next gen home here. Um, But yes, I've started recording my sleep patterns to try and understand how I'm sleeping. So first things in the morning is wake up and check that it's recorded my sleep pattern. That's a new thing. But no, I just take some time to reflect. I take some time and it is very, very important to just pray before I do anything, before I take out my phone and look at how many messages I may have had, before I flick onto social, which is what I usually used to do. Now I just sit still and I just reflect praising and giving love and really just being in the spirit where I I know I've got another day and another opportunity to be great at whatever it is that I need to be great at. Um, And once I've done that, I usually hit social. So after my little morning reflection, prayer and meditation, still in bed, I will hit social um, and I will literally do a bit of research for about 45 minutes, see what's trending, see what's new. And it literally just allows me to line up for posting whatever content um, that I need to post um, later on in the afternoon. That is really, really important for me to just do the research. And on many days I schedule. So I'll get all the content ready. Doesn't mean I've posted it. I'll just get it all ready, scheduled. I'll check youtube what what are my stats saying i'll go over to instagram check my profiles read my stats and analytics to see how they're performing i'll then go over to tiktok and check tiktok and then based on what is trending based on what my mood is i'll very much be like okay today i'm gonna post this i'll get that ready from between 7 and 8 30 in the morning after I've done my research and then I get quickly jump up some mornings I'll take Sabian for a walk depending on how I'm feeling um or some mornings straight into the bathroom and then straight into the desk 
as you know, I work from home. So it is a very for short trip. But before I hit the desk, it's really, really, really important for me first to go downstairs. If I haven't taken Sabian out, then literally just open the back door, but get a hot drink, something to just detox, get some cereal or um, breakfast. First meal. Yes, my yogurt pot. She has an addiction, guys. An addiction. It's not an addiction. It's not an addiction. I have one a day. Yeah, but how many do you buy? Enough to I last think, me. I think we need to see your... No, 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> so I didn't used to eat cereal and... I'm not really a cereal lover. Yeah, I like Lucky Charms, but I'm not in my teens anymore. Um, I can't be asked to make porridge. I can't be, I don't really like cornflakes and all those cereals. And I still want to make sure that I have the vital meal of the day. So the easiest thing was the yogurt pots because it's just literally I take it out of the fridge and off we go. She's very specific about the brand. Yes, I am because they. I've gone and tried a couple of them. But anyway, this is not promotional or ad material. So we're not going there. We're just not going there. But yeah, so once I've got my breakfast, got my vitamins, taken my collagen, ran upstairs, I write out my tasks for the day. Um, I check my emails at work. So literally from nine to five, I'm only doing my nine to five job. I stay off social as much as possible. At lunchtime, you may see me repost or share something. And that's just to really keep the presence up. Um, but other than that, nine to five, I do my jobs. I'm on calls most of the day, so I don't have time. Once five, five thirty six, sometimes seven. Or, yeah, sometimes it's late. I've got better. Seven, seven thirty. Yeah. So between the times of seven and seven thirty, I've finished my nine to five. Well, it is nine till five, but nine till seven thirty. And then literally I'll go straight on to my personal projects or any church activities that I'm involved in. I'll definitely if I didn't take Sabian out in the morning, I'll take him out in the afternoon. I take him out. Now you're back, you take him out, but I used to take him out. Um I'll go out because working from home you realize that you're indoors all day so it's really important that I get breaks and just fresh air whether I'm going to the front of the house the back of the house whatever it is other routines include previously before this one came back I was really good and I was going to the gym and now she post wasn't going gym she was going swimming I was going swimming and I used to do spin class when when i used to do spin class three times a week yes i did okay okay do you want to see my phone we could we could do that at the end we could show a clip of your phone at the end yeah okay fine you could do that i did go spin class when you used to sleep because you was in manchester so you didn't actually get on my timeline at those times and i didn't call you because you're it's like six o'clock in the morning yeah i'm not awake there. exactly she wants me to go to the gym at 6 a.m so i prefer going to the gym really early i went swimming the other day at eight o'clock yeah eight yeah about 7 45 eight o'clock um it's good to start so routine is before you came back i used to go to the gym three days a week i stopped doing swimming for uh, about a year just over a year because I lost my hair um, yeah I'm not really that materialistic but I just wanted it to work so am I boring you no just do you know what time it is right now it's 1 30 in the morning guys 1 30 in the morning we spent the last hour setting up if I did mum's gonna import a clip of this room right now and it is boiling hot uh -uh. so what you see isn't actually just set up and go yeah mum does a lot before she sets up and i've clearly realized that yeah so we're here now and i was talking about my well that that is my podcast routine <laughs> but um yeah it's really important in my routine to make sure that i am clear about what i'm doing on what days you know, weekends, Sundays is a church day. Wednesdays, I have like early morning prayer. So my schedule changes. Mondays at work is very different to a Friday at work. So routine is really, really important. It's also important 
now that your back is well, I got my mum and dad who live very, very close to make sure that I have time with them because I can get very, I did, I'm getting better since 2024. I'm getting better. A lot better. I isolated myself very much in my office and it was just work, 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 work. I had routine, but I had nine to five work routine where I went from my nine to five to my personal projects. So it's very much changing that and incorporating more of my family and my friends and being a bit more social. So I'm doing that. I think that was great. I think that was great. Next question. Growth mindset. In the next five to ten years, how do you hope to grow personally and professionally? What steps are you taking now to ensure that growth? Hmm. first things are first I think I as I continually every day I want to deepen my knowledge biblically I want to strengthen what I already know spiritually and apply it within my personal projects so in the next five to ten years it's very much taking striving butterfly to a whole nother level and it is not just being a podcast it's being somewhat a community for groups of women and men when we can help currently I see it being a household name for women that just want a bit more um, and I want to grow it. So I'm doing speaking engagements and I can go to schools. I can go into different communities. And I want to make sure that it is not just a UK. It is a global brand. It is a global brand where you can have your journals and you can have your affirmation cards and you can basically come alongside me and go through your own self-care journey of how do I be authentic um there's many years that I went through life where I wasn't completely authentic um I hid many parts of me and you lose life like that and you don't realize you don't realize that you're losing life because you're trying to be something for someone else thinking that's who they want you to be when in theory you just need to be yourself because that's who God's made you to be. And without you realizing, that's who everyone wants to see, you know. So I see Striving Butterfly going from strength to strength. I am literally, um, as you know, I am literally working TikTok. <laughs> so I love Instagram but it's really not working for me that algorithm is really not doing me no favors um YouTube I'm really managing and loving that channel and learning a lot more and then TikTok is just where I discover and meet new people and it's beautiful so my aim is very much in the next by next year I'm hoping um, to reach 10,000 followers. On on TikTok or YouTube? TikTok. Okay. That's where I want to get to. I want to get to 10,000. Um, and what are we at now? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm we not, might as well say the number. I'm not there. I'm not What's there. What's the number? Just a couple hundred. Is that 300, 400? No, I'm not even at four. I'm about 260. 260. Yeah. Or 300. Okay. And yeah, but it's all about consistency. When I'm consistent, when I'm posting regularly, then yeah, it's it's okay. great. Okay. So that is personal projects. Within my career, I very much want to... separating work, career and striving butterfly? Yeah, into? Okay, yeah. So let's do work, career first. Well, I did strive in butterfly, but okay, you've already done strive in butterfly. So, yeah. what's your work career goal? Work career is to, so I've got a team, amazing team, okay. and they, um, I have a mixed team, and they are beautiful and unique and very skillful. So, I'm there to empower them and get the best out of them, and I am also there to deepen 
my knowledge even further in digital marketing. So I've been doing it for over 18 years, even maybe even longer. 18 years I've been doing marketing last 15 I've been very much doing digital but I want to get a lot more into performance um performance is where it's thank you yeah yeah could explain that performance is about optimization is about conversions is about studying behaviors it's including like customer journeys so I've sort of transitioned in my role sort of transitioned into that in about last two years um, and I've done a lot of research, a lot of reading, a lot of learning, a lot of online courses. And it's how can I take that within the organisation where I am? You want and to stay at the organisation? For now. How long has it been? It's been seven years. But it works. It works. She's happy. It works. I, I work from home full time. You know, I work with some great people, you know, as you know, everyone has highs and lows in offices, you know, it's never personal, but you sometimes rub shoulders and there's friction because everyone has an agenda, mm. but it's a good workplace to work for. I've met them. They're all lovely. That yeah, it's true. a good place. So it's never personal. It's just um, skills, knowledge and some people being in positions they shouldn't be in and some people being in positions are not comfortable enough to share their expertise and dim their light. So it's hard for women moving up the ladder when a lot across the board is all men. Mm. Uh, it's even that. harder when there's not many of your colour sitting on the board. Mm. So, yeah. It's what I focus on in my studies on. Hard. Ready for the next question? Yeah, what about you? Me? Yeah. Five seniors? Yeah. Jeez. Please, no kids. <laughs>